I'm on the roof of uh, the building that I live in. I'll give you a bit of an idea of um, how we're sort of living in the very heart of King's Cross. So just looking off the roof. So we're right in the sort of ground zero of King's Cross. Across the river, just across the road there, like just down there is um, the Love Machine, which is the, uh, the place where you know, Hannah gets chased through the neon lights. And, uh, so this is, that's Darlinghurst Road, which is the last sort of strip of the cross. There's strip clubs and, and uh, brothels and uh, bars and God knows what there. So over there is Darlinghurst and where that traffic is, that's the, um, that's the, where all the, all the roads meet, which is like literally the crossroads of King's Cross. The Coke sign is there, um, just around the corner there. So as we come across down here, so that's Darlinghurst across there, and on this side it's King's Cross or as well, Poss Point. So Poss Point goes through here, and down here is Woolloomooloo. Well, that area down there is that low area is Woolloomooloo, um, and of course there's the city skyline there. Um, Embarkation Park, which is where we have that final scene in the film where Viva dies, and we have the big crane shot, is just down the end of that street, Victoria Street, where those trees are. Um, um, just as a little aside, those appalling-looking high-rise buildings there back in the mid 70s um, they were meant to be, they were meant to go right along here right to that building there like you know, wiping out all those old terraces and uh, anyhow there was a, a massive uh, evictions and fights and very significant part of uh, Sydney history uh, stopped that development from happening people were murdered people lost their lives like um, Juanita Nielsen uh, uh, is probably the most famous example of somebody who disappeared never to be found again, obviously murdered. She was an activist fighting against that development. Um, that's just a little bit of King's Cross history, but you can sort of see it there. You, you can see how it was start, starting to look. Just imagine if that, a poor, if that monstrosity was right through to here. Just awful, awful stuff. So anyhow, so that's Woolloomooloo down there. And if we come through here, um, you know, this is, uh, this is Pots, Pots Point through there. If, like, that street just down there is where Viva and Hannah meet. You know, where they're walking along after she almost gets hit by the cab. That's that's a uh, old place. That's that street. And if I can point, if I point there, I don't know if you can if you can see it. But where are we? Let me just frame it up there. And uh, hold it. Don't don't drop it. And hang on. if I can just go. Wow. You're just there. Oh, anyhow, that's uh, Kennedy Miller, where Happy Feet was produced. And Makers of Mad Max. This sort of Darlinghurst Road, it's Elizabeth Bay down through there, and Edgecliff, which are these other suburbs that all sort of collide in this one little area here. If you go to the front of the building, there's Fansky. Yes. If we go to the front, this gives you an idea of we're able to see floors across that. That hexagonal looking building is the old gazebo hotel. It's been turned into apartments. But that was a very famous hotel in the 70s and 80s. That was, and into the 90s, it was very much a sort of a rock and roll venue. And it's incredibly significant for my wife, Belinda McClory and I, because um, uh, I don't want to sound too crass, but that's the first place we ever had sex, my wife and I is in that hotel and now we can see it from our bedroom window i don't know there's just something incredible about that i just love king cross so down here out, out here is um 
uh, Elizabeth Bay, you know, sort of Elizabeth Bay, Potts Point, Edgecliff, they all sort of collide through, through here. All these incredible old buildings, like that green building just there. That's where the first television broadcast in Australia was transmitted from that building, the old Royal Building in Cross. buildings. That building there, that yellow one that's being refurbished, that's the old uh, Hampton Court Hotel where Billy Thorpe lived and wrote Second Drugs and Rock and Roll. That's hotel. Yeah. So you can sort of see, you know, this building is pretty much dead center. It's all happening around us. And we, shot, we shot the film X. Yeah, we shot it all just down on the streets all around this building. Yeah. So... You know, trying to Im uh, capture a sense of place was very important to us. And, you know, yeah, okay. Got it.